Meantime, a new report on small business out this morning from the NFIB ahead of the Fed chair speaking overseas. Steve Leisman joins us with the latest on that. Steve. Hey, good morning, Andrew. Yeah, amid an otherwise downbeat report, the NFIB December survey has some guardedly good news on inflation with one of the biggest declines on records of plans by small businesses to raise their prices. Let's look at the overall index, 89.9, down 2.1%. This is at recessionary levels, been a long time below the average. Unfilled openings, still an issue, 41% down three points, though, but it remains historically high. Expected sales down uh, is minus 10%. These are net numbers, by the way. Those expecting higher sales versus those expecting lower sales. You can see it's minus 10 down two point. And those raising their prices, actually raising them now down eight points to 43%. The more important inflation news, though, looks to be in the 10-point drop of plans to raise selling prices in the future. It's the third largest drop on record. This series goes back to 1973, and it's now just a few points above its long-run average. That is, it's kind of normal here. And if I be economist Bill Dunkelberg saying fewer firms raising prices will contribute to a slowdown in the inflation rate. But he adds the economy appears to be slowing but it does not show up in the demand for labor. Before the unemployment rate rises, unfilled openings should start to disappear. So some trouble on the other inflationary front, if you will, when it comes to a tight labor market. Meanwhile, Fed Chair Jay Powell set to speak this morning in Stockholm. It's about central bank independence, so it may not be a barn burner on the economy and monetary policy. However, there is Q&A that we need to monitor. His speech comes a day after comments from Atlanta Fed President Rafael Bostic. Seemed to reverse that market rally yesterday. He said the Fed, Fed is willing to overshoot when it comes to raising rates. There will be no rate cuts through 2024, but he will consider a 25 basis point hike depending upon the CPI data. So best hope for stocks right now, a benign inflation report coming Thursday. But that may not be enough. The Fed has been inclined to look past this better inflation news, guys.